Many of you may have noticed that I have not been on the daily leaderboard or active much lately and that's for a reason. I've had a lot of fun and made a lot of friends in my time playing Beast Worm Simulator but my interest in the game has been so low to the point I would rather do literally anything other than play the silly bee game. So this message is to announce my officially quitting Bee Swarm Simulator. That was a message from ELOL, the greatest Bee Swarm player of all time who just quit the game forever. And it's not just ELOL as there have been other Bee Swarm YouTubers and big figures in the community who have been dropping out of the game and slowly been losing interest. There's currently a really big Bee Swarm situation going on right now. So in this video, I'm going to do my best to explain it to you guys, what's going on, and why the heck everyone's losing motivation and pretty much what's going to happen in the future. Currently staying up really late editing this for you guys, so if you could take just a few seconds and subscribe, it would really mean a lot. And with that said, here we go. Okay, so starting off with ELOL. Now, ELOL was the greatest player in the game, so you might even be wondering why in the world would he quit in the first place? Well, starting off, we also have to look at the other Bee Swarm YouTubers. Now, ELOL isn't the only one that's quit. You guys might have heard of Zap Player. Recently, he made this post on his community tab, basically stating that he's not going to be making Bee Swarm content anymore and basically finds the game to be a little boring now. And it's not just him, as ELOL said the exact same thing in his message. And after that, there's Thinksia. Now, Thinksia is arguably the best Bee Swarm YouTuber, as he's really just friendly and has made amazing content since the very beginning, but even he has been starting to die off. Now, given Thinksia never actually announced that he's going to quit Bee Swarm Simulator, but he also has been releasing a lot less videos on his channel about Bee Swarm, but mainly it does seem like he has been losing motivation to play the game, as pretty much once Thinksia got to the hard part of Beesmas, he kind of just stopped making the videos and didn't really announce any progress that he had been making in the game. Now, why is everyone doing this? Well, for starters, I think you should know about the problem with this Beesmas. Now, here's the problem, because it's actually kind of hard to pinpoint. The game just added so much. It added the Robo Challenge, it added new planters, it added Dapper Bear quests, it added a brand new Cub Buddy, and all of Beesmas, yet everyone found it to be boring and honestly kind of torture, and here's why. It's specifically the fact that no one has anything to work towards anymore. Now, Zap Player specifically stated that he just kind of finds the game boring and there's not much else to do, and specifically ELOL and Zap Player have pretty much beat Bee Storm Simulator, so now they have nothing to do. Now, Onnit has been recently stating that he wanted to release the endgame sprinklers, backpack guards, all of those things, this Beesmas, which would basically give all of the endgame players something to work towards, because most people that really tried have the planter of plenty already, so there's not much else to do, so the thought that there could be a new backpack or something, or really hard to get Beequip to work towards, was the motivation to keep playing, but when this Beesmas added the Robo Challenge, there was no super hard challenge, there was nothing else crazy to grind for, and that was the main problem, because while the Robo update was really big, it's not like it gave you some pretty crazy buffs, sure it gives you an amulet, but that's about it, there's no super big item to grind towards, it's kind of just an amulet and a bunch of torture, and the fact that the Beesmas quests required so much of it, it basically just left a bad taste in everyone's mouth, and definitely made everyone see the Robo Challenge in a bad light, and the main problem with all this specifically is that the Robo Challenge is just one big grind, it's just the most repetitive thing over and over again, and when you have people like ELOL and Zap Player who have already spent so much time on this game, now forced to spend even more time on this game just doing grinding, it just doesn't seem like fun to them and so they're starting to quit. Now also there's the obligation, because obviously if you're just a random everyday player you can quit and no one's even gonna notice, but for these people it's a lot bigger, because in the case of Zap he's actually a somewhat big YouTuber and so he has a community to basically look after, or basically a community that he's forced to upload for, and as for ELOL, he's literally the number one player in all of BSS on the Honeymakers leaderboard and has a huge reputation to maintain. Now, the problem with this is also the fact that they just kind of feel obliged to do it all, because at one point the game stops being fun and it's kind of just a chore or a prison in this case. So also keep in mind that it's not like this goes for any everyday player, this is specifically for these people who have really high ranks in this game and a lot of status, and basically just a really big name to look up to, and with the game going on for so 
so long, it's just starting to become too much. Now, also keep in mind that Beast Storm has been going on for a very long time. Not every game is going to last forever. Even some of the biggest games like Fortnite die off eventually. And I also predict that the same will happen for Pet Simulator X. I think it's been out for something like two years now, but eventually the game is going to die down. And also one final thing to keep in mind is that Audit himself is also pretty much done with the game, which in other words basically just meant that other YouTubers now have a huge opportunity to quit as now the developer isn't crazy passionate about the game, so why should they be? If you've had a hard time following along, basically the Robo Challenge was just really tough and it didn't serve as anything for players to grind towards, it was just one repetitive, torturous mess. Given Onnit did put a lot of work into it, he didn't do a bad job at it obviously. It's just the fact that these really big endgame players had just had enough of the game. And one final thing to keep in mind is that will I be quitting the game as I have gotten the Gummy Baller? A full level 20 hive, I hit one quadrillion honey which is something I was really working towards. So will I be quitting the game? Heck no. Don't worry guys, I don't plan on quitting the game anytime soon and if you guys are worried about other people like maybe Yark's BSS or Vitamin Delicious, no I don't think either of those people will be quitting the game. But anyways, I really hope this does explain the entire Beast Worm situation to you guys. So once again, if you enjoyed this, please do subscribe because if you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely enjoy my other ones and I'll see you guys later.